Build as a not to be missed event. Anti Muslim sentiment continues to rise, making this year's Islamophobia Awards, organized by the Islamic Human Rights Commission, more popular than ever. Several people spoke at the event, including the international comedian Amir Rahman. Sorry, Muslims, you know. The annual Islamophobia Awards has turned into an opportunity to mock those in public life who have perpetrated or perpetuated acts of hatred against Muslims and their faith. The organizers of the event wanted to tackle the issue of Islamophobia, but also show the many different sides to the Muslim community. Muslims have been promoted and presented and stereotyped in a way that we are all angry, we are all sad, we are all serious all the time, and we don't have a sense of humor. Now, tonight and every year on this night, we show the whole world that we do have a sense of humor. I think events like these are fantastic, things that bring the community together, things that don't whitewash racism at all, but also are still uplifting and community building at the same time. The ceremony, attended by hundreds, saw Theresa May become this year's worst Islamophobe. May has been seen as a driving force behind the introduction of repressive legislation targeting the Muslim community, including the new Counter-Terrorism and Security Act, obligating professionals like teachers to spy on Muslims. We have seen the rise of Islamophobia to the extent now it's institutionalized. Now it's actually promoted by the politicians, by the institutions, by the media on a daily basis. We have tonight a very diverse group of people here. It's not just Muslims. We have Muslims. We have people from the Christian community. We have people from different ethnic backgrounds. We have, you know, it's a gathering of those who saying enough is enough. None of the winners of the Islamophobia Awards were present to pick up this dubious accolade. Mohammed Walji, Press TV, London.